if you're in the position where you're specking equipment, what are the considerations that you should take when you are thinking, okay, I have to spec this vehicle. Should I go air disc brakes? Should I stay with the you know, traditional S cam? Like walk me through the way you help customers make decisions. With respect to my position today, it's pretty much what's already there since I'm an aftermarket guy. So I want to be able to service both sides of the market. So I, I provide S cam brake shoes. I provide air disc brake pads. But from the specking side, so if I go back to my life when I was at uh, Tier 1 OEM, which was Bendix, you know, I was there when they were just introducing air brake to the North American aftermarket. And that was you know, circa 2005-ish. And uh, Bendix had just m- merged with Knorr Bremsen. And the North American truck uh, VIO was virtually 100% drum brake, with a few exceptions in transit, because many of those were European platform. Conversely, Europe, Europe was virtually 100% air disc already. So it was a matter of migrating that technology from Europe to the US. And I was, you know, I was there for that. Not, you know, all credit in the world goes to my, my former colleagues and still longtime friends at Bendix. They did a phenomenal job at really bringing the whole market to accept uh, air disc brakes. The advantages are, are plenty from everything from shorter stopping distances to uh, much easier uh, servicing and longer service intervals, lighter weight. It's just like when you think about passenger car in the 60s and 70s when it went from from drum brake to disc brake. All those same advantages that were prevalent then apply now to the the class 8 market. It just just took a lot longer. You know, when you look at the crystal ball of, you know, what's coming next in the heavy duty market, you only need to go and look at the passenger car market because they're always 20 years ahead of us. You know, so it's actually very easy. Go back, see, see what passenger car is doing, and that's where eventually we're going to be in heavy duty. And so it's a little easier for us because we kind of we already have a roadmap. You know, Air Disc has you know so many advantages in the decision making process on how a fleet would spec Air Disc versus S Cam. Mostly, it's just a matter of you know force of habit. You know, if if you've got a kind of an older school uh, director maintenance who just has had a you know, has a, had a good track record with a certain platform of drum brakes. You know, there's a good chance he just might say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But more and more folks are, are recognizing the fact that air disc really is from a technology and from a performance standpoint, is just vastly superior. 